Hey guys, uh, this week we're going to have to come to you through uh, video because we're busy trying to get some stuff done here at UAH and it's just going crazy for us. So we thought we could uh, hopefully video this one and let you take it and see what you do with it. Um, so this week we're going to talk about system breakdown structure structure, because now you finish the objective and you finish the team goal and so now you need to start thinking about the actual solution to the problem is what we call it in engineering. So now we know our requirements, we know everything about it, we know what all we've got to do, and now we've got to just go figure out how to do it. So that's what this does. So system breakdown structure will help you in this process. So key things your payload has to do. Remember, you've got to do a lot from our perspective. And so what we want to do is, is really tell you what the functions are that you have to do. So these are things you have to do. How you choose to do them is up to you and the engineering team especially of, well, how do we do it? And we'll give you an example in a little bit that'll probably help you out a lot. Just to reiterate though, these are the functions we're giving you. How you choose to meet those functions, how you choose to do these functions are your solutions. You come up with the solutions, these are the functions, these are the problems, you're coming up with the solutions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing you've got to do, remember you are autonomous this year for the first time. And so that means you basically have to deploy from the UAH spacecraft. That is the number one thing you must do. You must leave us. Just like when you graduate from high school, this is mama saying get out. Okay? And so you've got to leave us. So how you choose to leave us, like by car, by airplane, whatever, you know, in the real world, that's what we need you to do here, okay? Do you get ejected? Do you fall off? You know, what all do you do? That's up to you to decide that. We don't do that for you, okay? And you have to design that to make it happen. Also, that's all we'll do. Sorry, also remember that there's, you can, you can come off of the orbiter or the lander, depending on which mission you're doing. If you're doing uh, Venus, Callisto, or Jupiter, or Jupiter, then you're going to have to come off of the uh, orbiter because we don't land on either of those on, on any of those planets. Uh, if you're going on to Ganymede, you can come off of the orbiter or the lander, depending on what your objective is, what your science objective is. If you want to be spread apart, then you're going to probably have to come off of the orbiter. If you if your payload is sensitive to crashing on the ground really fast and and might break, then you might want to come off of the lander either once it lands or as it's descending. So there's, there's several options there, but some of them are dictated by, by, by the planet that you want to explore. Take it away. Okay. <laughs> so the other functions you have to do, um, one of them is take measurements, right? This is gathering the poop, all right? So this is the big one of getting it all, you know, figuring out what it is, that kind of thing. All those measurements you're going to take, like, temperature, you know, the temperature measurement or the seismic activity measurement or anything like that. That's the measurement. So you have to take the measurement first, right? So you then send it to collect the data, right? That's the diaper. So you've generated the poop, now put it in the diaper. So collect it, put it on the little flash memory card or whatever you're going to do. You got to do that as well, right? Then once you've got the diaper full, right, you hit the diarrhea moment, you're, you've overflow in the diaper, it's time to send the data. You have to send the data back to mama, right, the ship, mothership, which is our spacecraft, the UH spacecraft. So you have to send it to us. We are not responsible for doing that, okay? So that's some sort of antenna. There's a thing called UHF. I don't know what it stands for. Ultra high frequency. Ultra high frequency. Uh, I, like, I just lost it. Uh, ultra high frequency antenna. It's like the bunny ears on a uh, old TV. Which you've probably never seen before. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> uh, so anything like that, radio antenna, you know, and what's cool about those is if you look at a radio antenna in new cars, like in my new car, it's through the windshield. It bends. And so it doesn't have to be this rigid thing or this, you know, like a satellite dish, like your direct TV dish. It doesn't have to be something like that. It can be very small. It's just a wire essentially. Yeah. So you've got to do that as well. All right, but what all of those take, and it's a thing you have to do because you're away from us now, is you have to give them all power, okay? You must feed them, right? Like the baby analogy, this is the milk, okay? This is the feeding, right? 
So you got to make sure and send it to the measurement devices, you know, seismometers take power, uh, thermocouples actually generate power, but other things take power. So you got to find out what power needs they have. How hungry are they and how do you give it to them, right? The collection device, the little RAM memory or something, probably going to have some power on board. It's got to have, so you're going to have to give it some power. And then sending data takes power as well. So you've got to give all of these things some power. So these are going to be batteries or something else that you're going to use to make this power work, okay? And so what you have to do all, with all of it, though, is contain it, right? It just can't be just, oh, look, oh, look at the stuff. It's all sitting out there. It's got to be put in some sort of shell. You know, wrap it up in a package, put a bow on top, and then sit it there, right? So you also have to contain the payload at the same time, okay? So all those things have to happen. And what you've also got to remember is there's this environmental stuff that's out there. So there's temperatures. If you're going to Venus, it's really, really hot, so you're going to have to survive that. If you're going to outer planet with Jupiter or Callisto Ganymede, it's probably pretty cold, okay? So we need to determine a temperature that we're going to be at. So you need to figure that out. You also have G load, right? We feel 1G right now. That's what we're feeling on the ground right now. So what we've got to do is make sure how many ever Gs you're going to have to hit the ground at and survive. So that's a big part of it as well. And then you're at Jupiter, which has a huge radiation belt. Has the largest... It's the, well, the magnetosphere is the yeah. largest entity in the solar system. Yeah, he likes to say that. Yes. So I'll be that. It's really it's a neat kind of fact. I think it's cool. Yes. Um, so it emits a great deal of radiation, so much that it would kill you instantly. Your payload has to survive for a little while. So we're going to have to think about radiation. I don't think you'll be able to get too much into that, but you need to remember it's out there. And so radiation can have an effect. Okay? We don't want you to get thrown off course with this. We don't want you to get bogged down and go, oh my gosh, how do I do all these things? Every single thing <laughs> that PJ just described in this, also, continue, you know, also the containing the payload, everything is done by a cell phone, by a simple smartphone. They collect data, they send data, they transmit things, they provide power, they got batteries inside. So these things can be really small. Look at CubeSats. We've got some Cube, uh, CubeSat uh, links in the engineering design notebook. Um, they do this really well as well. They're also really small. So don't get, you know, don't let this, you know, scare you or frustrate you. This is, uh, this is not rocket science here. This is something you guys can do. This is where engineering finally comes in. Yes, play. finally doing engineering. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so what's next, right? So you're going to create these functions and figure out what to do. But then what the engineering need, team needs to do is develop alternatives. We need you to sit down and think of different ways you could accomplish these functions, right? And come up with an integrated package we call an alternative. So that's going to be a payload design. And we need you to come up with at least two of them, okay, in the next week. So that way we can talk about them with you and evaluate them and figure out what's really happening. And, um, and the so. best example of that, sorry, is, go back one, is uh, deploying from the spacecraft. You can deploy in, in a thousand different ways from the spacecraft. You can, uh, or how your probe looks. You can deploy many small probes or a couple of really big probes if, you, um, if, if, if that goes with your science objective. Um, where you deploy from the uh, spacecraft. If you deploy from the spacecraft or the lander, depending on if you're landing on Ganymede or not. Um, all these things are uh, alternatives and they will lead to different solutions once you kind of go down the street with those alternatives. So that's what PJ is talking about is developing alternatives. Think of different ways to solve this problem. There's more than one way to skin a cat. That's kind of gross, but uh, <laughs> it's a phrase, isn't it? Of course. You it's a phrase. Yeah, I don't like that. cats. I'm allergic and everything. So. Um, but there's more than one way to solve your problem. And, uh, well, to solve this problem. I, I don't know about your other problems, but to solve this engineering problem, there's more than one way to solve it. So that's what you need to split into two groups and each group come up with at least one way, correct? Yes. <laughs> and then what we also want you to do is sketch it up, draw it out. It doesn't have to be pretty right now. It doesn't have to be in solid edge. edge. Mm -hmm. Solid yeah. edge, it doesn't have to be all that stuff right now. All we want you to do is is sketch it out you know, by hand. Some of you on the team have got this mental image of what you think this thing looks like anyway. So draw it and then also tell us the key features of it. It does this, it does that, you know, all that. Kind of put it down in bullet point form so that way we can look at it when we come see you in the, in the following week. You can also 
scan these things in. Like take a scanner, you know, scan it in, take a picture with your iPhone, whatever, and send those to your UAHPOC. Very helpful. Let them then look at them and go, nah, that's not good. Or, yeah, that's really cool. What if, what if you put this on it as well? So, therefore, they can help you see it as well because they're almost finished with engineering, so they should be able to give you some good advice on it. We do this all the time, PJ and I do, and, and you know, guys at NASA, they, they draw pictures on whiteboards and we take a picture with our iPhone or whatever. Sorry. Um, so, uh, I've done it like six times. Um, so, I move away. I know. Um, so, it doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be a great artistic drawing or a a, a you know t you know two scale image. You've seen his in, sketches in You've seen, yeah, I've drawn sketches for every single class, every single class so far. And you just take a picture with your iPhone or your what you know whatever phone or whatever uh, camera you have handy. That's your image, and then you you know you got a digitally art you know right there, so you can. And then you'll use this later in presentations as well, and in your probably in your paper, your midterm paper that you have to turn in. Yeah. So. Okay. So we need to do that. So what else is next, right? So There's we've more? three teams, <laughs> the engineering team, the payload functions. So these functions that we gave you, these are the minimum things that your payload has to do. You might have some unique stuff out there and that you need to make sure it happens. So you need to put that in here as well, okay? So make sure you've got all the functions labeled, you know, we've got everything under control. For there. example, if you have an impactor that's gonna, you know, create a lot of dust or something, that's a, that's a totally new function. What, impact? Yes. Oh, okay. Create dust. Create sure. poof. <laughs> yeah. And then develop those two alternatives, at least two. If you guys have got a lot of good ideas, write them all down. Right now, there's no crazy solution. Just get them all in paper, and therefore we can start talking about them, because something will just pop up that's really neat. Brainstorming. It's great. Yes. And uh, communications team, what we need you to do is continue to work on that BSD template. You should have downloaded it by now from inspires.org on the downloads page. Downloads. Downloads page. Uh, and you should be filling it out. This is just going to go in order of that template. It's what we're doing with you. So start filling out more and more of it. That's why you want the digital images of the alternatives. Yes. In the paper. And then your PDR presentation, right? This is just going to, the digital images are probably going to go in that PDR presentation as well. So get all that in there as well. Uh, then send that weekly recap to the UAHPOC. If you want to go ahead, if you've got the template filled out up till now, send it to them, right? Boom. Send yes. them the template, yes. send them the presentation, send them everything you're doing. Talk a lot to these people, okay? I see these little emails of, hello, we're just doing this, bye, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Tell them everything you can so they can help you. They're there to help you, all right? And if They're they not scary. It's all right. No, just one of them. But yeah. if they don't get back to you, let us know and we will crack the whip. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. We will okay. crack the whip. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's happening. And then the marketing team, if you haven't already done it, because uh, we told you to do it in the team goals section, create the slogan. You know, come up with the catchy phrase that you're going to go with. Bye, Menon. <laughs> sure. And then uh, mm. any themes, you know, cool things you're going to do to make sure all this comes together to get right so we want you to think of themes as well marketing team this is really uh I, we don't um, i joke about these things but we don't want to just kind of this this kind of things the slogan and the names and all these things that brings your team together that that unifies your team around a common thing and identity. that's identity very, very good i knew there was a word for that yes yeah, thank right. you um so uh it's a, it's a big deal it will set you guys apart when it comes to the end of the semester when you're presenting to nasa and when you write your report to the oh teams uh everyone is going to do good engineering every team in this competition ends up doing good engineering good design solutions it's the the ones that are that distinguish themselves the ones that are set apart are the ones that that do all of it well, that bring it all together into one nice package. Yep. Put a bow on it, looks pretty. <laughs> yep. So, these are the things we need you to work on, because when we come back and see you in the following week, we want to talk to you about these things and see how you're progressing, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll show you an example of how to do this with going to school. And I know every one of you had to do that, or you wouldn't be seeing our wonderful faces right now. Yes. So we'll talk about that with you in just a second. Unless you're watching this at home. Yes. Then it didn't work so much. Okay. Okay. Just Bye. a sec. Okay. We're back. Uh, Matt kind of got behind this camera for a minute, so now we're ready to go. Um, so what we're going to talk to you about is how to go to school. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, each of you did this as a part of watching this video. Hopefully, you've mastered this skill. skill yeah, because <laughs> so, you're in high school now, so it should be all right. 
But we can show you, see this, this function stuff that we're gonna do uh, works for anything. You know, we use it in engineering, but it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna show you an example because all of you had to come to school, and so we'll talk about it that way. So, what is he writing? Oh, how to go to school. Oh, very riveting stuff, I know. So, let's start from uh, the beginning, right? Because what we're in the, the ultimate goal, right, is get to school. So, that's our team goal, is get to school. So, how do we do that, right? So, we gotta think about functionality of this. So, what things do you have to do to get to school, right? Well, for the first one to me is wake up. Is the first thing you had to do, right? So, we had to wake up was our big deal, right? Somehow we woke up, got up, and started getting ready. So, that's the second function, getting ready, preparing yourself, right? So, something had to happen, you know, some, something worked to make you get from waking up, right, to get to school. So, we had to get ready, and we'll talk about that in a minute, different things you could have done, right? Third thing, probably one of the most important ones, well, all these are really important because it couldn't work that way, is travel to school. Unless you're homeschooled. Unless you're homeschooled, but this is not working for any of you as well. <laughs> so, we don't have to worry about that. So travel is our third function, right? So you can see how we took this how to go to school as the overall function and we decomposed it, is what it's called in engineering. We decomposed the functions function into lower and lower level functions that then we could do something with, right? So these are our three functions. So first, we wake up, right? Second, we get ready. I'm <laughs> acting it out. And third, we travel to school, right? So those are the yeah. functions that we have determined are how you get to school. Right? Those are the things we've got to do basically every morning right. for it to work. So, those are the functions that didn't show you a solution at all in there, right? These are just things you have to do. A verb sense, right? Wake up, get ready, travel. <laughs> travel to school, right? I didn't these are I, all, I could not fit it on the board. <laughs> these are all verbs, right? I'm doing this in second grade with my daughter right now. These are verbs. So, all right, so the first one, wake up. There are several different ways you could have, be woke, you could have been <laughs> woken up, <laughs> right? You could have had it by an alarm clock. That could have been one way. Alarm, right? You could have had one of your parents wake you up. One of your siblings wake you up. Uh, your dog wake you up. <laughs> or you just slept in, you know? S I B L I N G S. Okay. Siblings. Close enough. We don't rehearse. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> dog, pet, yeah. What other kind of pet is going to wake you up besides the dog? Cat? Fish. Cats don't wake you up. Your fish woke you up. <laughs> birds. How many birds? Hamsters. <laughs> or don't wake up, right? So, those are different solutions to waking up. See what I'm going for? Mm -hmm. right? Different ways to wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. So, I got it. I don't know about you guys. I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> so, yeah, my bad. Don't. Well, that's not, right. that's not, this is the null solution. Yes. You got too many markers. <laughs> two of them are black. Why are they two black? Because there's like six black up here. <laughs> so, okay. So these are different solutions to that uh, function, right? That's what we're after. So when you have the function uh, deploy from UAH spacecraft, you get sit down and go, well, what are the different ways we could do that, right? You could use a spring. You could use helium. You could use blah, 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 blah. Gravity. Blah. You could fall off. You could, yeah, you could go off on a straight line at an angle. You could go down. You could do this, that, or the other. Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're talking about here, okay? See, this is going to help you, hopefully. Second one, get ready, right? So, you could have uh, ate breakfast, you could have hopefully gotten dressed, uh, you could have, I don't know, girls put on makeup. Uh, I hope they got dressed. Yeah, I'm <laughs> saying that was a big one. Um, shower? Yeah, sure, shower. Uh, yeah, shower, you know, things like that. Those are solutions 
to getting... <laughs> Matt doesn't know his numbers, by the way. So, shower. Shower. Um, what else? Get your books. You yes, know, pack your bags. Pack your bags, right? Those kinds of things. Those are different solutions to getting ready in the morning, right? And you could do one of them. You could do multiples of them. You don't have to do any of them, right? I would hope you put on the dress. The getting <laughs> got dressed, or you look really weird right now sitting. It's like that nightmare everybody has. You show yeah. up, and you're like, yeah, got to get dressed. So those are some of the functions you could do. Again. Just like we want you to do under like send data, right? How do you send the data? Same thing here, right? That's what we're after. But notice none of these are exclude the others. Uh, you can you can eat breakfast and get dressed and take a shower and pack your bags. You can do all these things. Really? You, yes, you can. Okay. You can too. Um, so, uh, but none of these exclude the others. So. You could do all these things, or just a portion of these things, or none of these things. Right. Um, if you do none of them, then you need to talk to your counselor. But, uh, so, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> and then travel to school, right? You could have walked. You could have came by car. You could have came by airplane, if you so desire. You could have came by boat, horse, whatever. Car. Mm. Yeah, car, airplane, horse. So you kind of get the gist of it now, I think. So the, the big thing that you have to do is figure out what the functions are, right? So we already helped you do that with your key things the payload has to do part of it. So we have the collect information to collect the poop, uh, put it in the diaper, send it on its way, right? Give it to mama, that kind of stuff. That's exactly what we've been doing. So this is the really hard part. Then you guys can think up all the different ways to do it, right? And so then what you can do is go, ah, so my solution to getting to school is my, I'm going to have my alarm clock go beep, 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 right, and, and turn on and wake me up. Then what I'm going to do is I take a shower and I get dressed and I eat breakfast, right? And then what I do is I go by a horse to school, right? So that is your integrated solution. So these things all link together and that is the solution of how this thing works together right so that's what you do as well so you come up with this is how we're going to deploy all the different ways this is how we're going to take measurements this is how we're going to collect data this is how we're going to send data this is how we're going to power it and this is how we're going to contain it all right and then link them together and those are the different ways you could do it okay now what Matt said is true. You can pick several of these and do it. But what could happen is if you select one of these, it can exclude things from this, the next sets over, because they just don't work together. Like right? for example, number five here. If you don't wake up, then you don't, don't do this. Then you won't get eat breakfast unless you have breakfast in bed. That doesn't work. Okay, you won't get dressed. <laughs> Okay. Probably won't take a shower Probably either. Probably won't take a shower because your parents get all wet and your parents got to change the sheets. That's just not fun. Yeah. So, um, so there's certain things that won't work together. They just don't go together, right? They clash, right? Like sort of like Matt, what he wears a lot, clashes. So we don't want to do that. You don't want to look like Matt. That's the bottom line, right? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, make sure and come up with solutions that seem to make sense and they don't clash as well. So this will help you do that, okay? So, what we want you to do, again, sit down as the engineering team. Make sure you've got all the functions listed up on top, right? That you know your payload has to do. You know one, two, three, four, five, six of them already. Six? Yeah. yeah one sure. boxes, one six. Two. Six. Mm -hmm. Six of them already. Make sure that's all of them. Is there anything else you need to put in there? Then, sit down and list all these different ways you could do each of them, right? Come up with some cool ideas. And then pair them together. Go, well, this matches with this, this goes with this, that's that, right? And so you can put them all together, and then we can sit down and look at them with you. And if you do this in this week early, send it to your UAH POC. I cannot stress this enough. Send this crap to UAH, right? Send it to them. Let them talk about it with you. They will give you your, their opinion. Whether you like it or not, that's beside the point. Yes. But at least they will give you your opinion, their opinion. And then we'll talk to you when we come see... What? I'll give you your opinion. Shut up. Uh, they will uh, do this and work with you, okay? 
Yeah, you messed me up. Oh, my, my bad. So, uh, <laughs> that's what we need you to do for this next week. All right? So, we'll see you. No, hang on one sec. Freeze. Okay. <laughs> Time out. So, I'm not talking to more. That's most it. of you will, uh, most of you with your different um, ways to solve your deployment issues or so solve your uh, function issues, deployment is going to be the one that most of you will come up with the most options for. You can, so uh, some of the other ones, taking measurements, uh, that would be different instruments you could even list as well under there um, that you could use to accomplish your goal. And then some, but, but some of the ones that are more detailed, like sending the data, you might not know a lot about that. That's okay though. Uh, start this, develop it, and then uh, the way you come up with the alternative solutions is going different ways through here. For example, if you had your parents wake you up, and then you just packed your bags and then you went by a car to school. That's a different design solution than the one that we have circled here. And that's what we talked about with the different solutions, different alternatives to, to solve your problem. So um, uh, look at different ways to deploy, look at different ways to accomplish the other things as well. And, uh, but main thing right now is deployment cause, because that's going to be, that's going to dictate a lot of what happens for the rest of your design. Um, and then PJ is going to finish this off. By the way, I would like for all of you to notice one thing about Matt. <laughs> he's wearing exactly the same shirt that he wears all the time. So, obviously he's poor. Yes. You know, he doesn't have many clothes, and so this is the only one he knows how to wear. See, These don't it's the only one that matches. These yeah. don't clash. But that's a purple shirt. You <laughs> notice, right? I don't think it is. Yeah. Mm. So, that's his point. This is a green board. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so, uh, work on this stuff. You know, don't stress out about it, but, but start to park on it some and, and come up with some cool solutions. And then we will get back with you the next week. We'll come see your bright and smile and happy faces again. We'll see and we'll talk about it some more. If you have any questions, contact your UAH point of contact. Contact us. Uh, have your teachers ask us if it's a big issue. But don't, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. <laughs> um, make sure, don't let this stump you. Don't let this uh, cause issues with your team. Don't let this be a, a, a stopping point. Continue to work through this. Just push through this. This is once you get past this. That's really the fun stuff. It's really when you can start engineering and start coming up with a solution. It's really actually kind of cool. Okay. So thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.